Hey guys, this is Utah Raptor 1987 here, and today we're going to be starting a brand new series called The Extinction Files, where we will be discussing various extinct animals, whether it be dinosaurs, pterosaurs, marine reptiles, paleozoic animals, creatures from the Ice Age, or even animals that went extinct recently. And in today's video, we will be discussing my all-time favorite dinosaur, the Utah Raptor. So, without further ado, let us begin. Utah Raptor was a large dromaeosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period in what is now the United States in the state of Utah from 135 million years ago until 130 million years ago. The first fossils of Utah Raptor were discovered in 1975 by Jim Jensen. However, they did not receive very much attention. Then, in 1991, more and more fossils of this animal were uncovered by James Kirkland, Robert Gaston, and Donald Burge. And then finally, in June of 1993, right around when Jurassic Park came out, they finally named this animal Utah Raptor Ostromazy, which means John Ostrom's and Chris May's Thief from Utah. Utah Raptor was one of, if not the largest and heaviest of all the dromaeosaurids. It was about 16 to 18 feet in length and weighed around 620 to 660 pounds. However, some estimates place this animal at around 23 feet in length and weighed around 1,100 pounds. However, those estimates are probably exaggerated. Like other dromaeosaurids, Utah Raptor possessed a large curved sickle-shaped claw on the second toe of each foot, and it's estimated that this claw could have reached up to 9.4 inches in length. Although we have never found any feathers on any Utah Raptor specimens, there is some strong evidence that suggests that Utah Raptor, as well as most, if not all, dromaeosaurids, had feathers. For starters, some smaller dromaeosaurids, such as Microraptor and Cynornithosaurus, have been found to have had impressions of feathers that have been preserved in the rock in which they died in. As well as the presence of quill knobs being found on the forearms of other dromaeosaurids, such as Velociraptor and Dakotaraptor. Utah Raptor was the largest predator in its environment that we know of and was likely an apex predator. However, due to its large and bulky build, it probably wasn't as fast or as agile as some of its relatives, such as Velociraptor and Deinonychus. It was most likely an ambush predator and it preyed on iguanodontids, therizinosaurs, and young sauropods using its robust build and large sickle claws to bring down its prey. There has been some debate of whether or not Utah Raptor, as well as other dromaeosaurids, lived and hunted in packs. Although we have found multiple dromaeosaurid trackways being found together, as well as multiple Deinonychus specimens being found alongside the remains of a Tenontosaurus, Scientists nowadays think that dromaeosaurids probably didn't have the same complex social behaviors seen in modern-day pack-hunting carnivores, due to adults and juveniles having different dietary preferences. However, in 2001, a nine-ton sandstone block was discovered and it contained the remains of multiple Utah raptor specimens of various ages, as well as the remains of at least one iguanodont. However, this only shows that they die together. It does not prove that Utah raptor had complex social behaviors. Fossils of Utah Raptor have been found in the yellow cat member of the Cedar Mountain Formation. Back when Utah Raptor was alive, 
This used to have been a semi-arid area that had floodplain prairies, riverine forests, and open woodlands that had conifers, ferns, hornworts, and other vascular plants. Utah raptor shared its environment with various different dinosaur species. There was the Notosaurid Gastonia, there were the Iguanodontians Hippodraco and Iguana Colossus, there were the Sauropods Cedarosaurus, Mirosaurus, and Moabasaurus, there was the Ornithomimosaur Nedcolbertia, there were the Therizinosaurs Falcarius and Martharaptor, there was the Truodontid Gemini Raptor, and then there was the Dromaeosaur Yorgovuchia. Although it's not as popular as its relative Velociraptor, Utah Raptor does have its fair share of representation in pop culture. In 1995, Utah Raptor was featured in the American novel Raptor Red, which was written by Robert T. Bakker. And the story is about a female Utah Raptor by the name of Raptor Red. Then, in 1999, Utah Raptor was featured in the fourth episode of the documentary miniseries Walking with Dinosaurs, where it featured a scene where a pack of Utah Raptors were hunting an iguanodon. I have several issues with the Utah Raptors in Walking with Dinosaurs. For starters, it completely lacks any feathers. Secondly, it's not as robust as it would have been in real life. And third, and most importantly, the Utah Raptors featured in this episode were in Europe. Like, come on, it's called Utah Raptor for a reason. Then in 2008, Utah Raptor was featured in the blasphemous TV series, Jurassic Fight Club, where in episode 8, Raptor's Last Stand, it features a Utah Raptor fighting a Gastonia. And once again, it has the same issues as before. Its wrists are pronated, it doesn't have enough feathers, it's not as robust as it should have been, and its head shape is just wrong. And then, in 2011, Utah Raptor was featured in the third episode of the documentary series, Dinosaur Revolution, where it featured a segment where two packs of Utah Raptors were hunting and fighting over a young Cedarosaurus. I think the Utah Raptors design in this series is a lot better than the previous entries I've mentioned. However, it's still not as robust as it should have been in real life. Utah Raptor had become so popular that in 2018, it was proposed that Utah Raptor would be the official state dinosaur of Utah, which was an act that was approved by the Senate. It was originally going to replace Allosaurus as the official state fossil, but it was decided that Utah Raptor would be its own separate symbol of the state. Well, guys, that concludes this episode of The Extinction Files. So, what extinct animal should I talk about next? Please let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!